Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to be covering this player called Mitchell Van Bergen. This guy is unbelievable. He's 16 years old. He's from Netherlands and he plays for Vitesse. I've used him with Vitesse and this guy is literally, he he's probably one of the best wingers that you can get in terms of hidden talents and, and in career mode. For example, if you look at his stats, he's really good physically from what age he started as well. Like 92 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, 80 balance, 84 agility. He's really agile as well. So like it's so hard for him to tackle. But And as you can see, there's a gameplay in the background running and this is him it was hard to get this footage because it was actually on world class and you know so you always had to pass the ball to him and you know all that kind of stuff but anyway it's possibly one of the best 16 year old i mean like which 16 year old has these kind of stats goes 66 dribbling 61 short pass 66 ball control it sounds quite low but for a 16 year old that's insane and plus with training and all that kind of stuff he's going to be even better. I've used him like right wing and left wing. I think he plays better left wing, but he's a right wing on the game, but that doesn't really matter because you can play him either sides. I've also used him striker as well, and in this footage, you can see him taking a shot against some goalkeeper from from the Japanese team, but even though he doesn't score, you can see what he's kind of capable of at that age. I don't know how this guy is in real life, but on FIFA, he's an absolute beast. Dribbling-wise, he literally feels like he's got the a flare trait i'm not i'm not sure if he actually does he probably doesn't but yeah he's so good on the ball like dribbling wise 66 dribbling that's a lie he literally feels like 77 or something and yes guys technically he could be improved obviously 66 ball control sometimes he's quite weak as well with 32 strength but if you use him right getting away from players and you know all that kind of stuff then he's really good option and the best thing about him is he's really cheap as well so base value of 650k and you could probably get him lower for that as well like with the potential of 83 not probably the best you can get but like obviously you can get much higher than 83 you could you could even go past like 86 85 but if you're doing a career mode with lower league teams and then he's the best winger that you can get you can also play up front because i've used him up front his finishing's not great but slowly that will get better with training and playing him more often these are the gameplays i've captured of him you know he's right footed three star weak foot and skills maybe having four star skills might have been better but for me it doesn't he doesn't even need that because all you need to do is just body feints and step overs with this guy because that actually works and there are multiple examples in this video so guys try using mitchell van bergen he's one of the good talents to use in this game and i've kind of like found him out by myself by doing the other video of the best young right wingers to get in the game five for ten get this five for ten dutchman and try him out for yourselves also guys apparently according to some of the dutch people he plays right wing back as well so in the game i don't know if he can play at right mid but but personally i wouldn't use him right mid his best position for me is right wing left wing or up front up front if you train him really good with the technical stats and you know like finishing and all that but overall he's a pace whore with decent some potential and really good stamina as you can see in the in this game against some japanese team every time he got the ball he's literally so smooth to play with as well like he doesn't feel like a 63 rated player so guys try using this guy for yourselves and guys that's it for this video and make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want more videos like these and yeah guys thanks for watching and peace out it's gonna be David De Gea, the one that saves Man United back and gets a spinal injury from carrying them. Well, not so much this season because now they have decent players. 